Another great feature of Google Drive is the use of Team Drives. Team Drives are located on the left side under My Drive. When you click on Team Drives, you'll notice that it says a Team Drive is a shared space to collaborate with your team. The difference between a shared folder in My Drive and a Team Drive is that the Team Drive is not owned by any one specific person in your organization. The Team Drive folder is actually owned by the district or the company you work for. And if any one member of the Team Drive leaves, that means that the files that were shared in the Team Drive are still accessible by the rest of the team. To get started, click Create Team Drive and give your Team Drive a name. Once you've clicked Create, your folder will appear and at the very top you'll notice that you can add members. If you click the Add Members icon, you can type in names and addresses of other users. Beneath that, you'll see an option that says Full. If you click on the drop down, you'll see that this denotes the access of the user that you're adding to your team drive. If I want that member to have full access, then that means that they can manage the group just as I can and add members and upload and delete files. If I want them to only have edit access, then that would mean that they cannot add other members. You can also choose comment access or view access. You can also leave a message for the user. And you can click send to send that notification to them. If you need to add other members in the future, just go back to the add members box. And if you click the drop menu, you'll see that anytime you need to send a message to the members of that group, you can click email members and it will open up a message and send a message out to everyone in the group. So there's no more creating a contact group for a group that already exists as a team drive. You can also change the theme, add or manage members from here and rename the folder or search the folder. If you've got multiple folders and files in the team drive, you can easily search them just by choosing this option. If you need to move folders or files into the drive, you can drag and drop them or click new and file upload to add files into your team drive just as you would in a Google Drive folder. Remember, anything that's added to the folder is viewable by the rest of the team and it is no longer owned by an individual person but owned by the team drive and the organization, which makes it great for sharing long term. Mm -hmm.